Over time, your cervical spine may develop problems, such as a shrinking disc, a herniated or ruptured disc, or bony growths on your vertebrae called bone spurs. These changes can narrow your vertebral canal and put pressure on your spinal cord or the nerves that branch off of it. The pressure can cause neck pain and stiffness or pain, numbness, and weakness in your arms or hands. In traditional cervical spine fusion surgery, known as ACDF surgery, we remove this disc and fuse these two bones together. What that does is, when the patient moves the neck normally, it puts extra stress on the next disc and leads to accelerated or faster degeneration of the next disc. Therefore, nowadays we are preferring artificial disc replacement where we put an implant which moves. Now, because of the mobility at this level, it prevents the next level from getting worse. Your surgeon will make an incision on your neck. The part of your cervical spine containing the damaged disc will be exposed. Your surgeon will remove the entire damaged disc. Then your surgeon will remove any bone spurs. The vertebral bodies above and below the removed disc will be trimmed to allow placement of an artificial disc. Finally, your surgeon will insert the artificial disc, which may be held in place with screws. The artificial disc is designed to preserve normal motion at this level of your spine. Your skin incision may be closed with skin glue or skin closure tape. 